Alright, so we're checking out the only game where you can give the entire population explosive diarrhea and they'll pay you for it. It's Chef. What's weird is I think this game has like more to the title. I think it's like a restaurant tycoon experience or something like that, but this just says Chef. Also, is it just me or is that like the blood of your enemies on your Chef hat? I mean, that's awesome. Don't get me wrong. It just seems a little out of place where everything else is like uh, chicken breasts and pesto. I'm really not sure. So the very first thing uh, that you need to do is you need to make an appropriate scumbag over here. I have an idea. Nope, 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 nope. Perfect. Freaking sweet. And just like that, we've made Bob Ross. We're ready to go. But Gray, Bob Ross makes paintings, not food. Bob Ross does whatever he wants, all right? It's Bob Ross. He's he's multi-talented, or you know, he, he was multi-talented. He still he lives in all of our hearts, still being multi-talented. I like how every type of person that visits these restaurants, it just seems like an insulting way to categorize them. Lower class family, cheapskate, lower class tourist. What about like frugal tourist, economically sound family? Why lower class? And what are they driving? Is this like a Kia Soul? Mother of God, you get a randomly generated diner. Oh, and they have different ch- Breeding? What the hell? Oh, animal breeding. I got it. I thought like the, the your restaurant was a- you know what I mean. Maybe you don't know what I mean. It's probably better that way. You know, a special- a special place. A very specific type of restaurant. Look at all this crap! Luxurious hotel! This restaurant is located inside of a natural preserve. Way to screw with mother nature. There's a customer type called trash customers? What the heck? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna go with this one. It's in a prestigious neighborhood. Okay, I have to mention something about this loading screen. This is the saddest person I've ever seen in an NPC. Oh, look at this. Friggin' restaurant looks legit. Whose car is this? Which one does Bob Ross drive? Is he driving the van or is he driving, like, the economy car? Finally, we can enter the name. Is this the name of the restaurant or the name of our chef? I'm gonna- you know what? The restaurant's gonna be called Bob Ross as well. I want our flooring to be more colorful. I feel like Bob Ross would approve. What do we got over here? Oh, mother of God. Uh-huh, okay. Yep, sure. Oh, this looks nice. Hold on, let's, uh, yeah! Oh, that's kinda loud. So you know what loud is good. It's a happy little sunrise all over our floors. Gotta put a counter down so people can prep. I'm gonna make sure that everyone can stare at my, uh, my workers over here intently while they cook the food. So let's go ahead and throw down, like, one right here. I think we'll have enough space to put another- Yeah, perfect. Since the 1900s, Uncle Bob- <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably related to my to my guy produces the same boring grill, but you just can't ignore a hundred years of history Amen crispy choice offers you a decade-long experience in assembling the nicest fryers on the market It comes in such colors as gray 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 and gray. I think I'm gonna go with gray here I feel like that's the appropriate choice for a fryer. This is interesting. You can have like a purple oven. You know what? Why not? Oh, there's decorations. It's in the- What? This plant looks a little sad, but that's fine. We still love and accept you, sad plant. Who wrote the dual tips for this game? This chalkboard is perfect to write the daily offer and to tactfully adjust the prices right before the customers ask for the bill. You know what? I like this game. What the hell happened to my name up top? <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, I like this game. This is cute. This- uh, that's- well, well done. Well done. You've, you've put a couple of, of little funny quips in there. Buy some tables. All right, hold on. Don't be so damn pushy. Okay, so your choices are basically the squared table, the roundish table, or the freakishly oblong table. Oh, never mind. There's like a ton of colors on top of that. I'm gonna pick this one because I already clicked on it. Uh, let's get a little bit more color up. There's not really that much color. There's just a bunch of like very earthen tones. Let's use this one. Over here is where the better people get to eat. The lesser individuals are gonna eat in the main hall. I don't have a problem categorizing people like that because apparently the game doesn't. Because you've got low-income people, you've got trash customers. <laughs> Good. You now have the bare minimum required to call this place a restaurant. It still looks miserable, but whatever. This game is really good at, like, picking you slightly up and then crushing you into the ground. You've got to pick a template for your recipe. Meat stew. What type of meat? It doesn't really go into that. Mmm. 
grilled meat. I'm not gonna lie, we're really gonna have to go with the uh, colon blow stew here. Can you? Ch oh no. <laughs> oh god. Mmm. That looks beefy right there. Hold on. There we go. You can always start your stew off with some fresh brewed lard. I feel like my people deserve slightly better than that, but I'm not really sure. Let's see what happens when you throw it in there. You always want to throw some garlic in everything. Garlic makes everything better. Where's the salt at? I like my salt content to be through the roof. Ah, salt. Plenty of it. With a magical mixture of salt, sugar, onions, garlic, broccoli, and a, and a lovely base of cow cheese and ketchup. This lard stew is destined to clean your bowels out in ways that you cannot even imagine. Let's say it. It's a sad, sad day when my colon blow stew is better than some of the pre-generated recipes that are on here. How did I get three and a half top hat, the, the, the hats, you know what the hat is, the chef hats. How did I get three and a half friggin' chef hats for this? Oh, hell yeah, we have cheap blonde beer. That's pretty awesome. Oh, it's vegan as well. Vegan beer. I guess it would be. Look at this. It's called the jacked potato. Hell yes. I want to make another recipe. This one's going to be called grilled sadness. So I had to hire some people. You've got like Natasha, Annabella, Victoria, and you've got a meat hater, a vegetable hater, and a meat hater. If you hate all the foods, why have you become a chef? Whatever. You're all terrible. Victoria, you're on the team. Diane, you're here as well. I like this. Decisions. Open the restaurant. This quick but still painful tutorial is finally over. By activating this decision, you'll finally be able to begin an endless cycle of bankruptcies. It's like, does this game understand exactly what it is? It's almost like it does. Whatever. Let's, let's open. Ah, our willing slaves. Here they come. They're just kind of standing around doing nothing. Oh, scumbags. It's about time. Yes. Come on in, everyone. It's and we have tables and I think I have tables and everything. You should be able to sit down. Yes. Enjoy your colon blow stew and your grilled sadness. Everyone enjoys grilled sadness. See, she's like, no, I feel I have I highly suggest the colon blow if you're all backed up. Let's put some furnishings down. Where's that sad plant at? Oh yeah. Oh, I want the sad plant right there. Perfect. You guys get it right next to you, right over here. Hmm. Now you can feel the sadness of the plant looming next to you. I'm gonna put another sad plant over here. You know what? What the hell? We'll do another one over here too. Let your customers judge your reading taste with an unmotivated sense of superiority with this practical bookshelf. That makes sense for our highfalutin scumbags. Where am I allowed to put this? Yeah, I'm gonna put that over there. Bob Ross would friggin' approve. Where's the paintings at? There's gotta be paintings in this thing. I know there is. Found them. There we go. Oh, impressionalism. You can have different ones too. Just random people that appear to be looming over you. Sad and depressed. I think I'm gonna pick this one. Post-impressionalism. What the hell is going on here? What is this, like a trailer for the Guardians of the Galaxy? I kind of like it. We're gonna put down one of these too. You know what's really starting to piss me off? The fact that regardless of how many times I change the name to Bob Ross, it never wants to accept this. Are y'all done ordering yet? This lady's asleep. She's not even looking at the menu. Let us watch as the chef, Bob Ross, skillfully throws knives up in the air in order to cut things up. This is why I left them in front of the window. So people can watch them violate like every code of chef conduct as they toss their cutleries sky high. How the hell do I have so many customers? Do you people not know what we're serving here? You can put your table outside. That's odd. I don't know. You know what? Sure. <laughs> Does this count? Half of the chair is through the wall. What the hell? Whatever. Our freaking chef's name is now Adak. Adak the Mighty. There we go. Yep. Bring your grandmother. Bring your grandson. Bring everyone so that you too can experience what it's like to have a hot witch's brew vomiting out of your rectum. What is this person doing in front of my restaurant? Are they protesting? Do they want entry or did they just get frozen in the middle of their animation? I don't, oh, there's there's people like in the, in the realm. I had no idea. These people are just stacked up doing nothing. They're not even moving. Hold on, if I move time along, do they do anything? Nope, they just bobble their heads psychotically. Oh, they're so unhappy. Look at them, but they're unhappy before they even come to the restaurant. What the hell? Is this my waitress? Is that what this is? Is she just all pissed off? 
You can spend experience points? Okay. It's like the RPG of freaking cooking. I think I broke the game when I did this. I think this was my- this was my downfall putting this out here. Oh god. I can't even sell this table because it doesn't exist inside of the boundary of what I'm allowed to deal with. Awesome. My chef's name has changed again. It's now Sufsad. You're gonna have to let me know in the comments section what your favorite name was. I've- I've completely broken the game right now. This lady's frozen. She ain't moving. These people over here are just like dancing a jig at the friggin' table. They're not actually ordering anything. This- you can see how unhappy she is. She's like, I've been here for four hours. Just pick something. I can't really kick you out, but for God's sake, just order a water or a salad. Or anything. It's nine o'clock at night. This lady's like, I want to go home. I want to see my family. Too bad. I paid you to do a job. You're not going anywhere until these friggin' people order. I had to make a new friggin' restaurant. This place isn't getting away though without a bunch of sad plants on the walls. I just noticed something. This friggin' table says, according to the rumors, this table is based on an ancient alien design found in the secret dungeon below the pyramids. What the hell? What about this one? Nothing says my restaurant is cool and trendy like some modern looking tables. Great. I ended up picking the trendy tables. Oh, mother of God. People have actually started to eat. This lady over here is having the delicious red square on a plate. Very nutritious, high in fiber. People are getting liquored up. Oh my, it's the first time. Finally, things are starting to work in the game. Sweet Jesus, yes. Oh, we got reviews. I shuddered to think at what they have to say. Let's find out. Oh, it's actually not that bad. Everyone was just kind of, just kind of average. Doesn't seem that bad at all. It wasn't an unpleasant meal, but don't expect anything out of the ordinary. It was a nice lunch. I'm very happy. I'll be downtown to visit with my daughter. I'll definitely come again. Well, thank you, cheapskate. Bunch of cheapskate sons of- Hell yeah. Fatima likes it. She gave us a four star. But we needed some more artwork up in here. That's what the friggin' problem is. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Ah, plates full of chunks. Fantastic. Everything's going quite well right now. I'm not really 100% sure what's going on right now. The entirety of my staff is just crowding around the kitchen area, like glitchily shaking their heads back and forth. Like I'm trying to get these people to make money, but they're like, no, Ray, not a chance in hell. Not after all the sad plants you've put down. Huh. I'm actually getting some decent reviews. Okay. Well, I don't really know what the hell we accomplished in this game. Because sometimes it wouldn't work. Maybe it's my fault. I'm really not sure. The game doesn't really go into it that much. We made some colon blow. Some people ate it. It's totally possible that my colon blow destroyed the entire game. That's probably what happened here. Everyone decided to try it just to see if it was worth it, and now they all have, like, typhoid fever or something. Hope you guys enjoyed Chef! Potentially it has more to the name, I'm not really sure. Where sometimes you sell food, and sometimes people just kind of run around. Very, very- Oh, the game decided to work again! Great! OMG, we're getting friggin' OMGs! People's grandmas be coming in! This lady looks like she wants to eat a frisbee and die. But she really enjoyed our food. That's gonna be it for now, I'm gonna call- I'm like gonna retire while we're ahead. Hope you guys enjoyed, Chef. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.